So, where are my notes? So, the first box I'm looking at tonight is called Investigator on Vulnhub. Uh, weird thing is though, I didn't read any of the descriptions, and this is an Android device. Uh, so not 100% certain how this will go. We'll have to see. Uh, hopefully it's running some vulnerable services I'm familiar with. But it said it was supposed to be a beginner machine, so I'm hoping it just happens to be based on an Android OS. Alright, so. Got everything set up. So I already ran Nmap port scan. So we'll grab the output of this. It is going to be that dot two two four machine probably. Can you get there? All right, so let's open up some tabs for this machine and start port scanning it. Let me know if you guys are still seeing camera lag. I honestly don't know what is causing it or how to make it better though. Also seems to be fairly intermittent. All right, so let's port scan this phone. Hopefully, find some interesting ports. Yeah, so Thursday nights are uh, scheduled hacking streams, and Tuesday nights are scheduled idle hero streams. Any other night is just sort of random stuff, although maybe eventually I had a scheduled weekend stream for streaming with doggos. Um, so yeah, tonight is hacking. Actual legitimate hacking into purposely vulnerable computers is the name of the game. Hey, thanks for the follow. So I think my camera is still lagging, and I don't know how to fix that. Hey, welcome, Dragon. We are doing the Thursday night hacking. All right, so there is some sort of PHP. We are hacking because that is my other hobby slash my job, and people have really enjoyed seeing it, even the Idle Heroes community, but mostly because it's the other thing that I do. I'm going to drink all my water and then I'm going to have to get more. <laughs> I still owe you two push-ups, Dragon. I don't... That, that feels like all of my water. I'm going to have to pee midstream. Yeah, you have points too you can use. If you click this little treasure chest, you get more. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna... I'll write those down. I'll add those to the two <laughs> dragon push-ups as well. But let's get back to this VM for a second. 
counting the two I already owe Dragon, that's 10. Or 12, sorry. So, port 8080 is open on this box, so let's take a look at that. I also changed the camera angle, so it should actually be easier to see me do push-ups and maybe even pull-ups eventually. I don't know if it'll reach all the way to the other corner. And the camera is apparently still lagging, and I don't know why. The whole thing, yeah, so the whole stream will be down behind by a few seconds. But the, I think the camera itself is laggy. Also, I have a guest in my room for those of you thinking I'm crazy. It is not a dog yet, but she may hop on the screen eventually. Alright, so some sort of case investigation. Agent S has been kidnapped? He's missing? I don't know. So Agent S has been... That's a... <laughs> Not wife, but girlfriend. Here, let's zoom out real quick. Oh, you still can't see her. Even zoomed out. Oh, well. <laughs> there she is. We are hacking into computers, Tartarus. Hopefully, successfully. So, nothing is in the source. Let's see if there's anything at this endpoint maybe it's an endpoint the star badge means Tartarus is subscribed to the channel so be sure to get your own stars did we download something so it looks like six 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 is the same I'm doing good and girlfriend's good too she got off of work Came to hang out, watch the stream live. Yeah, I don't have any custom sub badges because I'm really bad at editing. So it looks like any page we go to redirects to this page. So let's kick off a derb. Uh, so Durbuster is not going to help because every page is going to be the same. Um. I may need to actually just connect to this as a phone and not as a vulnerable machine. So do we have ADB? Nope. Let's install ADB, which is the Android debugger if you've never used it before. One, two, three. Okay, camera seems to not be lagging anymore. But yeah, you can have custom sub badges. I just am really bad at graphic design especially small ones it's also why our three custom emotes are all tiny idol heroes emotes uh, so i'm actually hacking into so this is all legal hacking if you've never watched it before so the machine that i'm breaking into is a machine that i set up on my local network um someone else designed it but i'm breaking into it so hacking is legal if you have permission so for my job my company gives me permission to break into their machines for my hobby, I give myself permission to break into my own machines. So any hacking I do for work or a hobby is all legal. Um, I'm not breaking into companies. I'm not breaking into other people's stuff. Um, so my goal for this is to just get access to... Whenever I do this, my goal is generally just to get access to the computer and have administrator on it. So if I have administrator access to someone else's computer, I could do whatever I want. Um, so the purpose of a lot of these exercises is to see if I'm able to get that administrator access. Sort of either A, as a, a puzzle slash challenge, or B, just to learn the skills required. So for my job, if I get administrator access to a computer, I can then use that to steal people's passwords, um, steal sensitive files, or just move around the corporate network. Yeah, so my current job, I only hack into my current company. But my previous job, I was actually a consultant, so every two weeks I would try and break into a new company. Um, and they would pay my company and we would try and break into them. So a little different, um, but very similar sort of ideas. Okay, so we've got ADB installed. Let me grab the output for my notes and eventual blog post. 
So yeah, I don't know what that six 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 nonsense is, but we will try and connect to it via ADB because it also had port. It also had port five 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 open, which is also the remote ADB um, port. That's true. I could just substitute the the different Delacium stars. I could grab those from the game. So five star, six star, ten star. Um, so I'm not doing any programming tonight. Probably um, last Thursday I did some Python programming, but uh, the vulnerable machines are normally just Linux or Windows computers that I uh, break into because they have a vulnerable service or something like that. So not a ton of programming in my job, generally speaking, but any programming I do do is usually in Python, just because it's easy for me to just whip something up quickly. Um, I'm not very good at C++. Uh, I can read it, but I try not to write it. Okay, so... I think... ADB connect remote host. So let's see if there's remote debugging enabled. <laughs> do do. Hey, thanks for the follow, Rosabi. Okay, that's what I want. ADB connect. I've never actually done this remotely, only locally. So let's see if that works. Did we connect? Cool, we did. All right, so remote debugging is enabled. That's good. Um, if you have an Android phone, today's first lesson is don't enable remote debugging because stuff like this could happen. So that's lesson one for the evening already. So let's get a shell on the box, I guess. Cool, so we have access to this Android device, at the very least. This is definitely a little bit outside of my wheelhouse, but uh... Let's see what we can do. Is there an Etsy password file? No. I'm a big fan of how it just spams shell every time I type a command. That's real obnoxious. The longest it's ever taken for me to hack into something. Um, at least on my Thursday night streams, I've done like a box in two and a half hours or so. Um, but in real life, I've had some computers I've never broken into. Yes, yeah, drink. I'm almost out of water between the two hydrates. Arena swords. Like the free team arena ones, or? <clears throat> I'm also trying to get more generic. That's why I changed all the tier names um, and the roles in Discord, which if you're not a member, which I think everyone here so far is. All right. Um... Where is the root directory in Android? So this is definitely going to be a learning experience for me. Pseudo privileges? Do we have pseudo privileges? No, pseudo is not even a command. <clears throat> huh. It's not slash root, so that's annoying. Is it data root? Okay, well, we can't open the data directory. Nah, there's no roll for one bit anymore. Now it's the highest monthly donation, uh, which is a currently a hundred, a hundred from Colby. I did hydrate. I'm almost out of the water. Yeah, most people um, are in the Discord via YouTube and end up on the Twitch stream from that. Since I spam people with at everyone tags. Feel free to mute that. Um, the schedule is posted everywhere as well. I did hydrate. I have about one sip left already. We're going to have to pee mid-box. Okay. 
So what the heck do we do? Can we just become root? I don't... Oh. Okay, well, that was easier than I expected. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that gives us. So let's data. Let's see what's on this phone. Oh, okay. I was going to say that looks way too easy. All right. So we got something that almost looks like a flag. We have a secret key now, at least. Um. Hmm. Maybe that is the secret key for the device. So let me swap VirtualBox windows real quick. So I've got that key written down. Let's show this one. So maybe that's the password to unlock the phone. Let's try that. So can I click in here? Where's my... Oh, God. This is a touch screen. Ah! Does anyone know how to show the... Oh, I'm going to have to drag. Two, five, nine. Oh, this is terrible. One, four, eight, uh, six, three, seven. Oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> All of that worked for nothing. All right, let's go back to the regular window. That's unfortunate. That would have made my life much easier. All right. Uh... Android root bypass lock screen. Let's see if we can bypass the lock screen on this device. Yeah, let me know if you hear the echo. I still don't know what's causing it. Uh, hacking your own... My headset is... HyperX... Oh man, what year is this thing from? It's like the HyperX Cloud. I don't know if it's this one or what, but it's definitely one of the... Yeah, it's intermittent echoes. Like, even in my videos from stream, I still don't know what's causing it. And I think it's only the stream. I don't think any of my YouTube videos have it. Um, right now, there's one source, and it's microphone. The, the camera is muted in multiple places. I think it's the Alpha S. It's definitely the Kingston HyperX Cloud. Um, yeah, hacking your own phone is kind of hard. Um, especially if it's patched um, iPhones are generally pretty secure that said the way people the way you root your iPhone is the way people hack into them basically they're just letting you root your phone I think there's some file where the pin is installed. I would rather just edit that. Awesome. Hey, McShots, welcome. Oof, why is this scroll over here? I think there's a... There's got to be a file. There it is, dot key. This is what I'm looking for. It is in data system. All right, let's check that out. Yeah, there have been a few lock screen bypasses for both Androids and iPhones that are pretty fun. Uh, I somehow got a gnat in my office. Um, 
or mosquito. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like there's like some that like a few of the face camera ones have been really cool. I don't think they work anymore, but you could take like a picture of someone's face and use them or like you swipe up and you hit Siri and you search for a certain thing and you click a link and then you hit cancel and then you do this. Yes, for those of you that are in InfoSec, I am rocking the Bloodhound t-shirt um, for this stream. Uh, this was the first one they came out with. A uh, bunch of great guys and uh, amazing tool. And buying these shirts supports uh, MDA, which is muscular dystrophy, which my cousin actually has too. So I got to spend a lot of time talking to Andrew about that. Um, some of his family members have it as well, which is why they support MDA. Um... What is, oh, is screen time the thing that, like, limits your, uh, I, I feel like it has something to do with the way Streamlabs handles desktop audio versus microphone. I think it lowers one and tries to force the other one louder or something. I don't know. It could also be my volume. I think my volume is very inconsistent, um, or my settings are inconsistent because I've had some either from stream or YouTube where I've like lower my volume and some where it's fairly low. And I think it has to do with adding this camera circle. All right, so let's delete these key files. I think this will remove the password from our lock screen and then we can get on the device according to my, my very in-depth Googling. Mostly the audio, so my audio, not the microphone, that plug is definitely getting bad. Um, I have to futz with it. Sometimes I get audio only in the left one. Um, this is like a six-year-old headset, I think, at this point. Um, so I definitely have to mess with the, but it, that's the the audio out for me. Um, but it definitely does come slightly disconnected at times. I have to like push it in harder. Uh, all right. Let's swap over to the. Let me let, let me see if that worked first, and then I'll show the. Okay, so that did work. How do I lock this device? It is really weird using an Android device in VirtualBox. Let me tell you. I have more viewers than MK. Good. Although I'm not actually playing Idle Heroes, I'll take it. All right, so that deletion um, allowed us to unlock the phone just by hitting Enter. I promise. I don't know what to do now, but we have access to the phone itself, so that's kind of cool. How do I show my mouse? Oh, that's a really cool lock screen by. Is that a lock screen bypass or a? Uh... That's pretty cool. They patch them pretty regularly, but there's always really cool bypasses like that for phones where you you know you do eight weird things and you bypass the lock screen. Um, there's also a lot of really cool ones like that for like kiosk mode for Windows systems. Um, all right, we need to virtual box Android show cursor. We need to see this cursor. It's driving me crazy. How do we do this? Okay. We call it a USB tablet. I can't do that without shutting it down. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna drag our finger around like this and click stuff. So here's this PHP server. So here's where our website is. What is in there? Oh man, I really need to use that headset more often. I actually have one of those. Um, I bought it as a, a birthday slash Christmas present for myself, and I use it. Mostly for work, but I'm working from home now. That's a great headset. Um, and it is wireless. I just haven't hooked up to my desktop ever. I should probably do that. Um, and yeah, I can always disable the noise canceling if I'm... Yeah, it does have a microphone. I don't know how good it is, but I mean, it's probably fine. All right. So, I found the web directory right here. This is a really weird box because I have to switch back and forth. 
So let's go back to my attacker virtual box. I don't need... So I went to where the web folder is. And there's actually a bunch of different files in there. Which is weird because it looked like everything was redirecting us. Uh, I like the looks of that background.php though. Sure. Thank you. Alright, so that is a fake backdoor. That's too bad. Um, Alright, let's go to config. What is in here? php.ini. That might be interesting for us. Or not at all. I don't know what msmtp is, but... Uh, it's SMTP, so nothing interesting there either. Anything in the log files? Nope. So the index.html is what we saw earlier. Nothing interesting there. Anything in the HD access file? No, it just denies access. Announce has another backdoor. Okay, so there is a backdoor, except I don't know what the point of that is. We're already root on this box. Um, so I guess we don't really care about that. Yeah, definitely work on your schoolwork. The Astro 40s, I haven't even seen those. I love the Sony noise canceling one, at least for work. I need to get a regular microphone though, so I don't have to wear the headset. Oh, these are cool looking. They definitely have the the Elite Gamer red and black vibe going down pretty good. Alright. Um so anything in secret 22,000? There's an RSA private key. That's encrypted. Oh, maybe we can use this. Hmm. So possibly that secret key we found in the, uh, the root flag.txt is used to decrypt this private key. Maybe. Possibly. Let's grab it. Although, I don't know what a private key gets us. T-O-U-H-I-D.key. What is, what is this file? Nope, oh, that looks like a write-up for this box. Oh, you know what? That may be a secret key to SSH into the box based on that spoiler I just saw. It, are they? This headset's definitely not uncomfortable by any stretch. The the Sony is super comfortable, but I mean, it was a $300 headset. It better be comfortable. All right, let's... uh. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I wanted them for work, especially because work wouldn't give me a headset. But I also loved using them for like... If I was traveling somewhere for the weekend or something. I didn't bring them on planes and stuff because I didn't want to wreck my $300 headset. But I did really like them. Alright. Oh my god, this is a nightmare to use. Alright, what kind of apps do we have on this thing? Maybe like there's something in the email? I really wish I could. What? I don't... There is no pattern. I thought we deleted the keys. Thank you. Is there a messaging app? Oh, I managed to click on that first try. What? Why is there still a pin? What is this? Is this another app? Sending email? What? What is this? What app is this? An email 
has been sent. So if you are not familiar with an application, Google messages you see to your account, which contains the passcode. So we're going to just see if we can figure out what this app is and how we delete it. All right, we didn't find it. Um, let's just look at the app list again. Maybe we can find it. Something else is locking down our app usage. App locker. What is that? Other than a Windows defensive tool. This really is hell to use. Is this the tool? Okay. Android app locker. I don't know what the name of this tool is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen yours on stream. The ones I found were uh, red and black. Oh, uh, did you wait? I think I waited until mine were 250, maybe 200. I know I waited until they were on sale. Um, yeah. Yeah, so when we got Root, the only flag I found was... Let's swap back for a second. Was, uh, well, yeah, it was just a mess. So I checked the slash data slash root, and there's a file called flag.txt, and inside that says, great move, it was easy. Your flag is not here, and it gave us a secret key, which I also haven't used yet. So it was a false flag. So I'm wondering if there's something on the box or something. Or, hold on. What if those numbers are coordinates? Hold on. So the message we got was 259. Oh, this is going to be hell to do. Okay. 259148637. That's cool. All right. How the hell do I get a screenshot of that for the blog? I don't know, but that worked. That was really cool. That was a good hint. I like that. All right, so now we've made it into whatever the heck this app locker is. I'll figure out the screenshot later. Maybe I'll just grab it from the video or something for the blog, or I could just write it in text. All right, so now we have access to every app on the device, I guess. So let's check their email. Maybe it's in there. Oh, no, I have to enter this every time. I got to disable this somehow. Let's go back. <laughs> we got to disable this. Got to figure out how to disable this little app locker. That's a really cool hint. So two, five, nine, one, four, eight, six, three, seven. No, I don't like app locker. All right, how do I? No, I don't want to write feedback. Yeah, maybe. I just want to figure out how to lock apps. Here we go. Let's. All right. So Gmail and messaging in the Play Store are locked. That's a pretty good hint that either A, our parents locked this device, or one of the things we want is in one of those two applications. Man, if you've never played games without seeing your mouse before, you get pretty good at knowing where your mouse is at all times. I'm obviously not perfect at it, but all right, there's nothing in Gmail. Let's check our messages. Ah, I missed. After just bragging about how I always know where my mouse is. Okay. No. Your flag is in next chat. Okay, cool. So we got something. So let's check our other messages. Your flag is not here. Oh my god. What is this? Really? Are we going to go through all of these? This is just trolling us. Alright. Good call, Hex. 66666 was the secret. Also, I just noticed that this has four messages instead of three. So this was the clue from the very beginning. Yeah, 
It was uh, the hint on the very first webpage. It says the um, Agent S has something to do with the only secret he left you was 666 666 6666. Welcome to Investigator. Share your screenshot on Telegram. Awesome. So I guess that's the flag. Cool. Um, that was super simple. We did that in 30 something minutes. Um, really different though. I'd never done a, a vulnerable Android device. Um, yeah, so we found a web page running on Android. We um, searched it for clues, found the 666666666. We used ADB to remotely connect to the box. Uh, we immediately got root. There was, it was already rooted or whatever. Uh, we used the root access to read the flag.txt file, which gave us some sort of secret password. We accessed the device manually after deleting the um, lock screen password. We used the secret password as a pattern for the app locker, and then we found our flag in the messaging app. Yeah, uh, it felt more like a how to use Android on VirtualBox, which I've never done before. I didn't know it was an option. Uh, makes sense. It is a virtual x86 machine, but cool. All right. I can delete that one. That was different, simple, and fun. Um, 